Divers scanning the Antikythera seabed thought they were looking at broken timbers. Then sonar revealed something startling. What looks like a sealed pocket inside the wreck. A possible chamber untouched for 2,000 years. This isn't just another archaeological find. If this chamber exists, it could rewrite history. Imagine statues perfectly preserved in seawater, ancient manuscripts wrapped in protective materials, or the discovery that would shake the scientific world. Another Antikythera mechanism. For over a century, experts from Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute have combed every inch of this wreck. They've found bronze statues, precious jewelry, and that mind-blowing ancient computer. But what if the greatest treasure has been hiding beneath collapsed hull timbers this entire time? The Mediterranean doesn't give up its secrets easily. At 150 feet below the surface, this Roman cargo ship has guarded its mysteries since around 50 BCE. Recent sonar sweeps by international teams are detecting anomalies, void spaces that shouldn't exist in a shipwreck this old. These aren't random rocks or sediment pockets. The data shows geometric patterns, straight edges where there should be debris, the kind of signatures that make archaeologists hold their breath. What you're about to discover will change how you think about ancient technology forever, because this chamber, if confirmed, might contain proof that our ancestors were far more advanced than we ever imagined. Here's where it gets interesting. Social media exploded with claims about Antikythera, videos showing sonar scans with bold text, hidden chamber found, the footage shows mysterious voids beneath the wreckage. But here's the thing. Official expedition reports from 2021 through 2025 tell a different story. Teams from the Swiss School of Archaeology documented hull planks. Cedar and oak timbers still joined together. They found dozens of amphoras scattered across the debris field. Even recovered a marble statue base with a human foot still attached. Zero mention of sealed chambers in any scientific publication. This creates a fascinating puzzle. Why the disconnect between viral claims and official reports? Some now ask, are researchers deliberately cautious because they haven't proven what this cavity really is? Look, if you've ever seen sonar scans, you know they're messy. Rocks look like walls, sediment pockets mimic empty rooms. Sometimes a void in the seabed looks like a chamber when it's just collapsed timber. But imagine for a moment this scenario. If this void really is a sealed compartment, what could survive inside after two millennia underwater? The Mediterranean salt content creates unique preservation conditions. Organic materials that would crumble on land can last centuries beneath the waves. The Antikythera mechanism itself proves ancient Greeks built devices we're still trying to understand. Bronze gears calculating planetary movements with stunning accuracy. If they made one impossible machine, what else were they capable of? The official teams aren't talking about chambers yet, but their advanced underwater drones and 3D photogrammetry systems can detect hollow spaces that human divers would miss completely. What they're finding beneath those timbers might force us to rewrite everything we know about this wreck. What could be inside? So what could actually be waiting inside a sealed chamber? Let's start with the possibility that makes every archeologist's heart race another Antikythera mechanism. This isn't wild speculation. Researchers have always joked that if one survived, there were likely others. Ancient Greek workshops didn't build one-off prototypes. They created series, multiple devices for different clients, different purposes. A sealed chamber could protect a second mechanism, maybe more complete than the first. Imagine bronze gears that haven't corroded, inscriptions we can actually read, instructions for use that survived in the dry pocket, then there's the lost treasure we know exists. In 1976, Jacques Cousteau's diving team made a devastating mistake. They accidentally dropped massive bronze statues back into the deep while trying to recover them. Those priceless artifacts are still down there somewhere. A protected chamber could house similar bronzes, statues that never hit the seafloor, never suffered decades of salt corrosion. Picture lifting a perfectly preserved Greek god from waters that have hidden it for 2,000 years. But here's what could be even more valuable than bronze or gold. Human remains. Bones have already been recovered from the Antikythera site. DNA analysis revealed details about the ship's passengers, their origins, their health, their final moments. A sealed pocket could preserve complete skeletal remains. 
maybe even organic materials like leather, papyrus, or wood. We could literally touch objects last handled by ancient Greek engineers. If discoveries like this fascinate you, make sure to hit subscribe. We bring you the latest mysteries, and you won't want to miss what's coming next. It's not just objects we'd uncover. It's the people, the culture, the genius that sailed with them. Every artifact tells a human story. Every bone connects us to someone who lived and breathed and created impossible things. Think about it. The original Antikythera mechanism required mathematical knowledge we thought didn't exist until a thousand years later. What other impossibilities could be waiting in the dark? But there's something else, something that makes this chamber theory even more compelling. The cutting edge tools. Here's how modern science is revolutionizing underwater archeology. span The teams from Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute aren't using the same methods as those 1900 sponge divers. Autonomous underwater vehicles glide silently over the wreck site. These AUVs carry LiDAR sensors that map every rock, every timber fragment, every anomaly on the seafloor. They work for hours without human divers risking their lives at crushing depths. But the real breakthrough is 3D photogrammetry. Cameras capture thousands of overlapping images. Computer algorithms stitch them together into perfect digital models. Every square inch of the wreck gets documented with millimeter precision. Think of it like a medical CT scan. Archaeologists are now doing the same for a shipwreck. Instead of bones and organs, they're looking for beams, hulls, maybe even sealed storage rooms. The most exciting development? AI reconstruction models. These systems analyze how ancient ships were built. They simulate exactly how a vessel would collapse after 2,000 years underwater. The AI can predict where cavities should exist, where timber frames might create protected spaces. For the first time, computers may be able to peer inside the wreck without touching it, without disturbing fragile artifacts, without risking damage to priceless historical evidence. The Swiss School of Archaeology team runs these scans through pattern recognition and software. The computer flags geometric anomalies, straight lines where there should be chaos, empty spaces where debris should fill every gap. When multiple detection methods agree, sonar, photogrammetry, and AI prediction. That's when archaeologists get excited. That's when they start planning deeper investigations. These aren't the crude metal detectors treasure hunters use. This is space-age technology applied to ancient mysteries, robots that see through sediment and time itself. But technology is only part of the story, because the ship's cargo hints at secrets far more valuable than timber or amphoras. Now, let's talk about the biggest mystery of all, who actually owned this ship? The cargo gives us clues that make historians uncomfortable. This wasn't some merchant trader carrying pottery between islands. The Antikythera vessel transported luxury goods that only the ultra-wealthy could afford. Bronze statues of gods and heroes, precision-engineered astronomical devices, jewelry fit for emperors. Some researchers believe this was loot. Stolen treasures heading to Rome after military conquest. The timing fits perfectly with General Sulla's campaigns in Greece around 87 BCE. Roman armies systematically stripped Greek cities of their greatest artworks. But here's what makes this theory explosive. If Sulla's men looted this cargo, they would have taken the most valuable items first, the obvious treasures. But what about the subtle ones? The devices that looked like scrap metal but contained revolutionary knowledge? Ancient texts from this period describe strange inventions, crystal lenses that magnify distant objects, mechanical calculators for navigation, precision tools that modern science struggles to replicate. Writers like Cicero mention Greek philosophers carrying instruments of impossible accuracy across the Mediterranean. Could a sealed chamber still hold such items? Objects that Roman looters didn't recognize as valuable? technologies that got packed away with spare ship parts and forgotten cargo? Here's something that keeps me awake. Imagine unrolling a scroll that no one has read since 60 BC. What would it say? Lost mathematical formulas that could advance modern science. Astronomical observations that predate our telescopes. Maybe even political secrets Rome tried to erase forever. The preservation potential is staggering. Papyrus scrolls have survived underwater when protected from current and light. 
The Library of Alexandria burned, but what if copies of those texts sailed with this ship? If a sealed hold preserved manuscripts, it might contain the last words of a lost Greek genius. Instructions for building devices we're still trying to understand. Star charts that could revolutionize our timeline of ancient astronomy. The human element here is breathtaking. These weren't just objects. They were someone's life work, a scholar's final research, an engineer's masterpiece, all frozen in time beneath the waves. And this brings us to the ship itself, because its design tells us why such a chamber, if it exists, would be so rare. Let's ground ourselves in what we actually know, because the confirmed discoveries make the chamber theory even more compelling. The ship itself tells an incredible story. In 2021, archaeologists raised the largest intact hull section ever recovered from Antikythera, three massive cedar and oak planks still joined by original bronze fastenings. Wood analysis dates the ship's construction to around 235 BCE. This wasn't some coastal fishing boat. The hull shows shell-first construction, outer planks installed before the internal frame. This technique required master shipbuilders, the kind of craftsmen who built vessels for the wealthy and powerful. The cargo distribution reveals something fascinating. Dozens of amphoras scattered across a debris field spanning 300 meters. These weren't random containers. Each type comes from different regions. Chian amphoras from Greek islands, Roman vessels from Italy, evidence of trade routes spanning the entire Mediterranean. But here's what makes it personal. Among the bronze statues and precision instruments, archaeologists found a simple clay mixing bowl, a mortar used for preparing food aboard ship, someone's daily cooking routine preserved for 2,000 years. Picture the scene, a cook grinding spices in that same bowl while the Antikythera mechanism calculated sunset times on deck above. Human moments happening alongside revolutionary technology. The statue fragments tell their own story, a marble base with a life-sized human foot still attached. Partial remains of a nude male figure too corroded to fully recover. These weren't decorative pieces. They were masterworks stolen from Greek temples and workshops. Now, we've all heard about the famous Antikythera mechanism, but it wasn't the only treasure. Even simple cooking bowls and broken amphoras tell us what life on board was like. These details might feel smaller, but they anchor the bigger mystery. Every confirmed artifact reinforces the same pattern. This ship carried items of extraordinary value alongside everyday necessities. The mixture of mundane and magnificent creates the perfect conditions for hidden treasures. If Roman looters packed this vessel in haste, they might have overlooked smaller devices, components that looked like spare parts but contained genius-level engineering. A sealed chamber could protect exactly these kinds of overlooked masterpieces. The verified discoveries prove one crucial point. This wreck still holds secrets after 125 years of excavation. The Antikythera mechanism and legacy. Let's talk about the discovery that changed everything. In 1901, a Greek sponge diver pulled corroded bronze lumps from the Antikythera wreck. For decades, these fragments sat in museums collecting dust. Then, X-ray technology revealed the impossible. Hidden inside that green corrosion were precision-cut gears, dozens of interlocking bronze wheels no bigger than coins, each one mathematically calculated to track celestial movements. This wasn't just an ancient gadget, it was a computer a device that predicted solar eclipses, tracked planetary cycles, and calculated Olympic Games schedules, all powered by a simple hand crank. The engineering precision is mind-blowing, gears cut to tolerances that require modern machinery to replicate, mathematical ratios that weren't supposed to exist until the Renaissance, technology that makes our smartphones look primitive by comparison. The mechanism itself shattered our timeline of science. We believed ancient Greeks used basic geometry and simple tools. This device proves they understood differential gears, epicyclic motion, and complex astronomical calculations. Here's what keeps scientists awake at night. If Greeks in 60 BCE could build this, what else were they capable of? The mechanism represents knowledge that supposedly vanished for over a thousand years. Technologies that Europe didn't rediscover until the 1600s. Every gear tells a story of genius, 
someone understood that Venus cycles every 584 days, that Mars returns to the same position every 780 days. This person could predict when eclipses would darken Mediterranean skies decades in advance. But the mechanism we found is broken, incomplete, fragments of a larger device that probably contained even more functions, calendars we can't decode, calculations we're still trying to understand. So imagine if a chamber held another one, not fragments corroded by centuries of seawater, but a complete device with all its bronze wheels intact, instructions engraved on metal plates, maybe even the manual that explained how to use it. The implications are staggering. A second mechanism could prove this wasn't a one-off creation. That ancient workshops mass-produced these impossible machines. That Greek science reached heights we've barely begun to comprehend. This is why the chamber theory refuses to die, because we've already found one impossible thing in this wreck. The story isn't over. Woods Hole. Oceanographic Institute and the Swiss School of Archaeology are already planning their 2026 excavation season. This time, they're going deeper than ever before. Advanced underwater drones will push through sediment layers that haven't been disturbed since the ship sank. Areas where human divers can't safely operate. Spaces where the ship's heaviest cargo would have settled during the wreck. The team's goal is ambitious. They want to uncover more of the original hull structure document how cargo was distributed throughout the vessel, map every void space that sonar has detected in the debris field. What scientists hope to find goes beyond bronze statues and pottery shards. They're looking for ship compartments that could have created natural preservation chambers, storage areas where the vessel's most valuable items would have been secured. Every dive could bring the moment when sediment gives way to a sealed space no one has touched since antiquity. Picture the first light piercing a void that's been dark for two millennia. The first glimpse of objects exactly as ancient hands placed them. The technology keeps improving. New underwater robots can navigate tighter spaces. Better cameras capture details invisible to human eyes. AI analysis spots, patterns that even experienced archeologists might miss. But here's what makes 2026 different. For the first time, teams have complete 3D models of the entire wreck site. They know exactly where anomalies exist, where the most promising voids are waiting. The Mediterranean doesn't surrender its treasures easily, but patience and technology are finally matching the sea's stubborn grip on the past. Each season brings tools that can peer deeper, preserve better, reveal more. If a chamber exists, 2026 might be the year we find it. And if we do, it won't just answer questions about ancient technology. It could reveal secrets about human knowledge we thought were lost forever. So here's where we stand. The chamber remains unconfirmed, but the anomalies, the technology, and the unanswered questions keep the possibility alive. Sonar scans show geometric voids where chaos should reign. AI models predict hollow spaces in ship sections that could preserve ancient artifacts. The same wreck that already gave us one impossible device could be hiding another. The evidence doesn't prove a sealed chamber exists, but it proves something equally important. After 125 years of excavation, Antikythera still holds secrets, still surprises researchers with discoveries that challenge everything we thought we knew. If proven, it wouldn't just be another artifact. It could rewrite history, again. Just like the original mechanism forced us to reconsider ancient Greek capabilities, a chamber could reveal technologies we've never imagined. Think about it. We're talking about a civilization that built computers when Rome was still conquering with bronze swords. If they made one impossible thing, what other impossibilities are waiting in the dark? The truth is, we may never find a sealed chamber at Antikythera, but the search itself proves something profound about human curiosity. Our refusal to accept that we've found everything our hunger to connect with the genius of our ancestors. Every artifact recovered from those depths is a message across time, proof that human innovation didn't begin with us. That mind's every bit as brilliant as ours were solving complex problems 2,000 years ago. If you don't want to miss the next breakthrough from Antikythera, subscribe now. We'll be here to bring you the discoveries the moment they surface. Because if this wreck has taught us anything, it's that the most incredible revelations are often hiding just beneath the surface.